Well, we are still talking about Hurricane Milton. It is, of course, making headlines as it is slowly approaching the coast of Florida. Now, you were try trying to see the eye there. It's very disorganized, but it is continuing to move about 160 miles so far away from Tampa and about 125 miles away from Fort Myers. So we're, we're of course, still tracking multiple uh, tornado warnings with those outer bands, which is, of course, very common in these hurricanes. This morning, Milton was a very strong category five hurricane you can see the very defined eye right there it was looking very scary winds reached upwards of 175 but it went through what we call an eye wall replacement which is also common in strong storms like this we no longer really see that eye a little bit more that disorganization and that has continued to drop those winds still strong unfortunately about 145 miles per hour but at least the pressure has gone down to 935 millibars and when we talk about that the lower the number, the stronger the storm. So we want this number to go up. So right now it is at 100, 935. And of course we want that to keep going up. As of now with the National Hurricane Center, they do have this weakening eventually into a category three right before making landfall. But with interesting enough, Northeast at 17 miles per hour definitely picked up. And so now they have this making landfall just after seven o'clock, just south in between Tampa and Sarasota, which is honestly very beneficial over towards Tampa. We don't want it to go right towards Tampa or to the north. Actually, the further south, the better, especially over towards Tampa Bay. So as of now, just after 7 o'clock, and then by 7 a.m. tomorrow, Category 1 going back into the Atlantic. So we're going to be monitoring this all day today and, of course, giving you the latest going into tomorrow morning. As you can see, one thing's for certain, storm surge is going to be catastrophic across some areas. Could be upwards of 15 feet. We'll be watching, of course, all of this all here today and uh, continuing to pretty much give you the latest. But back here at home, not much really going on. It's very quiet still. We still have those clear skies. This is all part of Wade's RV Weather Camera Network. Not much, especially those trees are dying out there. We are so desperate for some rain, dealing with extreme drought. We will get the latest update tomorrow morning, so it'll be interesting to see that continuing to worsen in some locations. Winds are still out of the south, and it, that's what's really going to provide a warming trend. So we're at 77 right now, 80 and prior, 78 over towards Porter. We are still trending a little bit warmer, so we're about 86 this afternoon, despite our normal for this month, 76. Reminder, we're in the middle of October, certainly not feeling like fall and definitely not feeling like October, especially with the pumpkin patches going on. If you're looking for, you know, some time outdoors and maybe dealing with some allergies, yesterday was pretty, pretty bad in terms of the allergies. We had weeds and mold at a high. Now that ragweed sitting at a moderate mold at a low. So that's the good news for that. But another thing going into tomorrow is a few Lucky folks could see some rain, mainly for our western counties. Not much, but we'll take anything at this point. So 58 waking up out the door, and then we should continue to warm up. Right now, we just have that 20% for tomorrow and then very limited for next week. However, we have some changes in the forecast, and we can see that because we could be a near record for Saturday. But a nice front's going to move in, and that's going to drop those temperatures down to 65 degrees on Tuesday. Not only that, those overnight lows. That's right, you see that 39 down there? Hopefully it caught your attention with that. We're gonna be really feeling like fall, potentially almost like winter at this point. We might as well, we just missed out on all those nice fall temp temperatures. Hopefully you're able to enjoy this coming weekend.